Nikki oh, yeah, Nick is a legend, movie. dude. Yes, see, she is unbelievable. Today is a good day in LA, in SA. I have with me Mr. Gavin Sinclair. Kevin, how's it, brother? So good to see you again and so good to connect with you, my old dear friend. Yes, yes. There's, there's a reason we went to the same school together and the reason we were best buddies at one point growing up, you know? Yeah, I think legends stick together. Oh, I love that. I love that. So there's three parts to this, Gavin, today that I want to, that I want to cover. I want to cover uh, your mindset, okay? I want to cover who Gavin Sinclair is. And then I, wanted, I, wanted, I want you to uncover for us the, the new adventures that you're going on, what you have planned for the future and the challenges and the tasks that you've set yourself up for, whatever they are. What content are you covering next? What ocean are you swimming across next? Yeah, so look, uh, question number one. Um, so, uh, yeah. My background, I've done a few things uh, through Africa, raising funds and awareness as an activist for child trafficking. Solo unsupported cycle, Cape to Cairo, um, 4,000 kilometer run through Africa for African countries. Uh, island swim up north of Mozambique, a 388 kilometer coastline run. Um, and I've done that all for a good reason and a good cause to raise funds and awareness. Um, now, currently, Kevin, I have teamed up with uh, Syntropy uh, Wellbeing. Um, we are launching a new program. I will be running on the 1st of October, October solo unsupported from Port Elizabeth to Cape Town along the coastline a thousand kilometers that's incredible gavin that's phenomenal gavin let's let's talk about the mindset behind that because and almost like you're almost like a coach like a mentor coach us through the process of what it takes for you to come up with these challenges first of all and second of all to accomplish them because everybody can start something but we know the hardest part is to finish what we started can you kind of give us a a, a, a mindset background on what that looks like well, look, it's actually, if you look at things modular, um, so if you're going to cycle from Cape Town to Cairo, you don't think about you have to cycle 3,000, sorry, 13,000 kilometers. You think about being fully in the present. What I mean by that is if you are living in a state of fear or anxiety, you're either living more in the past or in the future, which means you're not in the present. And the same goes for, if you are going to cycle to Cairo, you want to be fully present in the moment and enjoying the day, the ride, the seven hours, and enjoy that day and not worry about what happens tomorrow. It's no point in worrying about what happened or what might happen. It's about enjoying the process. So. Whatever comes across your way along the way, you deal with it as it happens. But you don't need to create things before they happen. We love to do this to ourselves. So why would we sabotage ourselves about what can go wrong opposed to everything that can just go right? So why don't we just take those leaps of faith and actually just take the step forward and just see, and it might just turn out to be one of the most amazing adventures. So... Uh, if you want to do something, uh, yeah. the, the, the most um, amazing part of it is sometimes you need to let go of not knowing the outcome of everything. You can't okay. control so, 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 everything. So, so, so take us, Gavin, take us deeper because what you do is extraordinary. And that's not, so you, you got to take us to elevate us, take us to another level of your mindset of accomplishing these radical goals because they're outrageous, okay. but yet they're remarkable. Okay, so the point is, if you want to do something, okay, a world champion is a world champion because he believed he is a world champion before he became one. The point is, if you want to be great, be great. Don't think about being great. 
If you want to cycle to Cairo, believe you can do it and do it. The hardest part is not actually on the actual cycle. The hardest part is getting to the start line. Once you're on that bicycle and you're out there, it's, it's phenomenal, it's unbelievable. But the, the truth is you need to have more faith in yourself and believe that you can achieve whatever you want to do. And sometimes there's a lot of uh, social subconscious conditioning out there that you know you can't do it it's crazy and and these are just limitations gavin um, you're gonna die so, so, and the <laughs> point is deep africa david deep, and, deep and africa, kevin, gavin. The, kevin this is the point what is the worst that can happen you die so what the point is rather die doing what you love most i use this uh, analogy everest to summit there's only two possibilities do you know what there are <laughs> make it or break it exactly make it or die right there's only two uh, you summit or you die there's no gray you don't give up that's amazing uh, that's that's the a, point is you've really the simplified point, the point is if you want it have it but you've got to want it and if it's not really what you want you're not going to have that that unbelievable drive that that ignites your soul that sets your soul on fire so your purpose in life is is to 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 tap into what it is that you really want to do and understand what your real gift is on this planet we all have a very unique gift and the point is whatever it is you want to do so i'm going to run to cape town on the beach point is what's the worst i die okay what's the best i make it and it's a success the truth is I know it's going to be difficult, but the point is I accept it's going to be difficult and I'll allow whatever happens along the process is I deal with it as it happens. The point is not what happens to us as we know, it's about how we deal with the situation. Meaning correct, correct, how exactly. well yeah. means how well do you build your bridge when you have the obstacle in front of you? And how do you build the bridge in the most calmest logical way? Very simple. That's right. So you, 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 no... you have made it quite simple. I like that energy. Either you're going to live or you're going to die. Well, Gavin, here's my second question for you. So, so let's go back because actually I do know some of my, um, I spoke to some of my American talent and they actually watched your video. They actually know who you are, which is kind of interesting and fascinating. Really? Then, wow. That's great. Yeah. It was all, wow. I, I spoke to a buddy of mine this morning. I said, oh, I'm actually interviewing Gavin Sinclair. They're like, oh, I, I know him. I watched him. I'm like, oh, sweet. That's great. Um, wow. And he's Thank a you, super Kevin. successful, I think he's a super successful, um, uh, they're called recruiters. He, he is a kind of a headhunter for okay. talent down in Orange County. Gavin, my second question is, let's talk about Gavin Sinclair. How did Gavin Sinclair, the human being, become this uh, professional adventurer? A quick, quick timeline. Can you give us that, please, Gavin? Uh, living a life wasn't fulfilled, had no purpose, didn't really love doing what I was doing. And I always knew that I was doing, I was living, but I wasn't doing what I should be doing because I actually knew what I should be doing, but I was just doing something else. And then I think you get to a point where you actually, you get forced to actually go back onto your path. It, it's just a natural process. It's, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, attraction you get pulled back to where you actually belong through your process i was just toxic i mean i was born with add dyslexia and stuff and i was trying to chase the corporate ladder drive a fancy bmw trying to make money trying to look whatever it was and the point was i just was not even so remotely close to being connected to who i was i was very disconnected and you know what I, I'm like pretty much homeless. I don't have hardly anything. I don't own a toaster or a kettle. And you know, what? I'm actually so blessed and so happy and so connected. I'm loving my life right now because I get to do what I love most. That's to make a difference, inspire and to motivate people. And it's great. So I'm living my dream and I'm just so glad that I can feel like myself again. So Gavin, what you what you're saying is Gavin Sinclair has always kind of been there, but it was a self-discovery because you thought you were supposed to do one thing, but actually you were supposed to kind of self-discover who you really were. Because a lot of us, we believe in materialism, capitalism. That's myself, actually. I'm, I'm that way. Um, success, 
breed success, um, chasing the, the, the chasing paper money. Um, and that's the true happiness is, you know, wealth, you know, having a billion dollars on bank account. What you're saying is I have nothing. It, it says you don't, you know, pretty much the clothes on your back and the bicycle that you have, yet you have this complete freedom that's very hard for us to comprehend or understand. Um, I don't know what the breaking point was or the cracking universe to get there because that's what I'm talking to you. I, there's only one professional adventure I know, and that's you, Gavin. So you're almost like this island. Is that how I said? Do you see yourself as like this solo entity, this island, or is there much more to it than that, Gavin? So look, success, money, everything is great. Those things are absolutely positive in life. The only thing is, as long as whatever you're doing, as long as you're really happy and fulfilled. So you, you there's no problem with having a, a, a yacht and, and a lot of money and having fancy cars and, and lots of houses. The point is, as long as you are internally happy with who you are and what you're doing in life, whether that means on a psychographic of having zero or being a hero, it's just really about are you being truthful to yourself in life? And, and in your relationship, in your marriage, in your work, are you being 100% real in your environment? And for me, I'm just trying to be organically and, and honestly truthful to what I believe in. And that is just, just wanting to be positive and make a difference out there. And yes, I'm pretty, yeah. maybe a bit of an island. I have built a brand. Don't get me wrong. It's also a strategy. I mean, I'm building a business out of myself i get to speak on a stage people are starting to recognize me i get paid to do corporate talks i've just signed up with centropy well-being um so i'm being recognized over the last five and a half years six years of of um doing what i've done and i've gotten to a point with with a lot of press media coverage and stuff so this strategy i mean i'm i'm, I'm definitely not just doing this for for no purpose but I'm definitely having a hell of a lot of fun and I'm getting to do something. And that is to make a difference to humanity. And for me, it was about, I've got a bit of a purpose now. Whereas before I was, I had no real purpose. I, I, I kind of, I do, I, do, I do understand that Gavin. Let's, let's go to like, actually, let's go to the third part. Let's talk about how you select these well, what do you call them? Do you call them adventures or challenges or goals or purpose or contribution? How do you select these tasks to swim oceans, cross continents, um, ride an uh, unimaginable amounts of miles or kilometers? This this next challenge that you that you're on to right now, this walk here, because let's talk about that. Can you go into more detail and how they came about as well, please, Gavin? So how it works is. Kevin, all these people around the world, males and females that are doing these things, it boils down to one thing. It's not about how fit you are or how strong you are. Yes, it is, but it's all about budget. It depends on how big your budget is. It's about how fancy your adventure <laughs> is. Trust me, but because I could make it a hell of a lot more fancier. And trust me, I wouldn't be running around cycling and swimming but I would be doing it a hell of a lot more exciting. But the point is, budget is one of the things, Kevin, like anything. One. Two, logistics. Three, I do it solo and supported, which means I have to look at a lot of criteria when I choose things and in what country I do it and the reason why I do it. And the reason for a lot of the reasons why I've done it in the past in Africa is just because in Africa... You, 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 you can get, a la get away with a lot more being solo and supported out there, meaning, you know, there's, there's less that can go wrong. Um, how this came about me doing PE, it was meant to have been um, at, in, in Mozambique down to Belito. However, a few I, things I, I, I remember you I remember you've been there. I remember those. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No problem. So life is about being flexible. So no stress. So I just moved it down the coast. And I shifted it to be whatever happens is in life, just keeping and thing and chasing your dreams, no matter what happens, no matter what is put in front of you. So I just moved it down, decided to start from PE. I'm based in PE. What made logical sense? I don't even know the terrain, Kevin. I'm just going to get on the beach and I'm just going to wing it, but I'm going to run. I don't know. I haven't really analyzed the, the territory and the coastline. 
But you know what? Whatever comes in front of me, I'll either go over it, under it, or around it. No problem. Yeah, it's, it's an adventure. That's what it is. That's, that's, you're creating an adventure for yourself. And you do no logistics. You do forward planning pretty much the first or second day. And the logistics start pretty much on, on the actual event. Every stage, when you get to that end of the day stage, like I did Cape to Cairo, I did my forward planning for the next day. That's how it is. Very simple. And have faith about actually being comfortable, being uncomfortable. Meaning... You don't need to know everything, but you need to take that step and keep. So, so let's, let's talk about your relationship with, with your current um, endorsement and support. Gavin, how did that come about with, with uh, Nicole Clickman and, and Craig and those, those uh, folks and what that has meant for your uh, contributing to your purpose in life? Sure. What an amazing blessing. Look, um, for the last six years, I've been doing what I've been doing, and I've been very diligent and working hard with the press media, um, and and obviously doing these challenges and you know PR and 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 trying to get sponsorships and self funding and and just pursuing my dream, and and literally you know a month ago, Centrify Wellbeing, Nikki and Craig and these guys, these amazing human beings, got hold of me, and a big brand has recognised me. Gavin, I got there. I, I, I love that you're the brand ambassador. Um, so really, success wasn't overnight for you. This is almost like ha more than half a decade in development of you being able to uh, prove yourself. And now you're starting to get endorsements and support. The nice thing is this coming locally as well, um, which is going to help make your journey a little, little bit easier and better. So um, over the last six years, I've, I've obviously been uh, in, in the public media. I've, I've reached a 44 million uh, press media reach, uh, being covered on TV, newspapers, and radio. So, you know, um, Nikki um, and Nicole and Kevin from Centropy Wellbeing um, recognized me. And um, in fact, uh, one of uh, Nicole's running uh, friends um, actually said to her one morning, do you know of Gavin Sinclair? And she, she, she um, looked at my profile and she contacted me and stuff. And obviously, it has led to this that it's in line with uh, the Centropy Wellbeing, uh, what they, they believe in, and they're them launching this wellness program. And they've pulled me in to be their official brand ambassador. And we've had such incredible relationships so far. Um, I was I flew to Joburg. We did some incredible filming that they're busy editing actually today. Um, and some drone footage and stuff. So this is like a really big break for me in my career. And I mean, I have been brand ambassador for other top global brands, but in terms of a big corporate um, sponsorship, uh, this is one of the, the, the breaks that I've been looking for. And just from a PR point of view and everything, it's just been incredible, this, yeah. this uh, yeah, it, blessing. It, it, it is not support, it is a blessing. Gavin, we spoke about this before, um, you doing something in America. Uh, I'm not saying now is the best time. I, I mean, actually, never is the best time. You got to just do it. You know what I mean? There's never really yes. a best time, Gavin. You now is the best time, really. Um, yeah. Maybe speak to Nicole and 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 I'll help you. Now we can talk talk about getting some sponsorships and maybe you doing something in America. Maybe not for the American community, but maybe for your 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 South African people. That hey, I'm gonna go. To, I'm gonna cross the states. I'm just gonna. And you, of course, there's logistics and planning there. But maybe Gavin, you can take it to the next level and say, okay, I've done Africa. I've done Cape to Cairo. I've done you know, the Cape Coast, let's do something in America now for your people and for your cause there in South Africa. It's just, it's, a, it's another chapter in your journey, in your story, Gavin. Does that, does that kind of make sense? Would you like to do something like that? Kevin, please, let's do it. Don't even, look, you already sold me before you like started. Let's work on something like that. I would be honored to go to the USA. Let me put my feet on the USA soil and do something out there. Yeah, Gavin, I think it will be very important because um, your contribution, of course, and your purpose, but also giving acknowledgement to, giving a little bit of acknowledgement to um, that people can do it. Everybody thinks like America is untouchable. It, it, it isn't, Gavin. It's, it's what you make it, right? It's, I've been here for 28 years and I'm doing superbly well, but it also, it also was a tough grind. Americans literally are the hardest and smartest working people in the world. 
but so are South Africans. That's why you have Elon Musk in the world and so forth. You got Gavin Sinclair. Gavin, let's play that. Let's let's make the, the let's. And I know we can. I I know people across the board, across the, the nation, where you can start to come across. And I do know of guys that have done it, and their support groups. The churches in America are very supportive. So if you come there at night or so forth, you can literally sleep there, and they'll support you in a sense of feed you and and govern you and taking care of you. So I, that was just one idea I had that. I know that the churches along the way will actually support you if you, you on your journey. So that's one way. There's also press. There's also people that, oh, you know, they want to have the one at Bragg and oh, I help Gavin along his journey. You know what I mean? So there's many ways we can, uh, I can help you. So maybe speak to Nikki and Craig and we can get that going. And I want to thank you for your time, Gavin. You know how this ends. Give us one yeah. takeaway and, and give us one thing that that mind blowing a statement or quote that can really make our day, Gavin, or, or make us better human beings? Look, whatever it is you're doing in life, just, just think about humanity. Do it for humanity. Um, and believe in yourself no matter what it is, no matter what it is you want to do in life. And one thing, if you are not happy wherever you are in life, make the change change your life you're never too young you're never too old and and don't make excuses live your life to the <laughs> fullest right live your life to the fullest life yeah. is short no regrets just do it just just crush it kill it like gavin says just yeah. do it yeah gavin's a man of action and what i love is action solves everything because Gavin, you know, if you had all the money in the world, you could buy the mega yacht and you could, you know, go from Cape to Cairo in a mega yacht. But what Gavin's doing is he's taking, he's been sustainable. He's a man of action. Action solves everything. And he just, he just does it. Nothing stops him. Gavin, thank you for Gavin, your time, buddy. Great. Look, guys, stop thinking about it and do it. That's simple. Gavin keeps it simple. There's he has to. That's how he sustains thinking his lifestyle. And doing. Gavin, thank you for your time. Well, Nikki, thank you for your time. We'll speak to you next. The next time I'll I interview you. I'll see you guys in America. Yeah, the next time we interview you, we're strategizing and planning the I'm American. I'm going to be in America. Yep, that's what we're going to do. Thank you, buddy. Have a blessed day, Gavin. Thank you, Nikki. Cool, Kev. Cheers, Ciao. guys. Bye, Gavin.